Okay, the fun begins. It's design time. I set up a couple vignettes around the house. If you would walk in our rental house right now, you would die laughing. It is so funny. But I've set up a couple vignettes of some of the things I've been purchasing and to show you an idea of the way each room is going to go. And then I've also done a board right here. I'm going to set my buddy down. I've also done a board. This is what Steph and I do for clients. Sometimes we'll take them in a board just to kind of give them an idea so they can see everything that we've picked for them and how it all looks together and how it, how it fits together cohesively. So I've kind of done that for myself and it gives me a really good idea of where my room is going. And I'm just gonna show you first is the family room. So just a quick breakdown and the foyer in the hallway. So when you walk in our foyer, you're gonna see a grand piano. I really wanna put a cow skin, cowhide rug down there, faux. And so that is also coming. This is the chandelier that's in the foyer. Uh, they will have this cool piano print. These are entry lights. They have the Cape Codish farmhouse feel to them. And then you're going to be entering then into the family room and you're going to walk in. We're going to have a stack stone fireplace with our beam mantles, floating shelves, dark wood finish. These are the two chandeliers, really cool chandeliers. Uh, got that transitional feel, but still not too contemporary. And then if we walk down here, this just gives you a little idea of my, I'm going with a sectional, and I'm showing you that I'm going with a dual track arm, with the tufted back, and the welted seats. This will show you the fabric, uh, this shows you the rug, and then we've got our wonderful ottoman and chair that we're still waiting for the ottoman to come in the fabric, some of the accessories that are going in there. So this gives you an idea of that plan. And these are some colors I'm thinking of. These are Sherwin-Williams Mindful Gray. Repose gray and Eider white. This I'm thinking of the trim. I'm looking at these on the walls. I won't know about that until I get into the space. And this shows you a little bit. This is the sofa table. Really cool. It's out of reclaimed wood and steel. So wrought iron, excuse me. And then down here, as you walk out of the family room, going into the bedrooms, you're going to see this really cool floating piece of art. And these are my hallway lights. So now we'll kind of turn around and we'll show you the little vignette I set up. So you can kind of see all this. This just gives you an idea of everything that I am purchasing right now or purchase or working on. So this is a rug. Pretty cool. I don't like to buy things from Pottery Barn for one thing is because I think they're a little too pricey. If you look over here, some of these things I've had for a while, like I've had this calfskin ottoman for a long time, Ikea. Gotta love that. So I want to try to work that in to use it with this gray leather chair that's gonna be sitting right beside the fireplace I got from Home Goods. Love that. These pillows, look how fun these pillows are. They're gonna look great. Home Goods again. Just little pieces like this from Home Goods, another Home Goods. This, I think I showed you in the earlier video, these are awesome. They're reproductions, and it's an old barn wood with these old antique knockers, but it's a reproduction. This is gonna go somewhere in between the kitchen and the family room as they flow together. My old standby lion that I've had for years. I've been carting this guy with me for years. I'm anxious to put him right by my fireplace. I think it'll look cool. This is my super comfortable seat. I'm still missing my ottoman. Some candlesticks. Trying to pull it, as you can see, a little bit of the rustic feel with the metal. And then dress it up a little bit as I get next to my stack stone fireplace with a little bit more sleeker of a feel. This also has a nice sleek feel, a little bit more contemporary edge that I'll be mixing in my floating shelves. This is awesome, very fun. This tortoise shell. Books, you can never have too many books. So I've been collecting books in these great, just solid glass, mixed in with frame, solid glass picture frames. These are my doorknobs that I'm hoping I can use on doorknobs that I don't have to, door handles that I don't have to pull open, I don't have to twist, like my closet doors and my pantry doors. I'm planning on mixing these in for fun. This is my piano picture that if you want to get a little closer honey and so they can see that the framing on this it's from paragon it's one of our great lines that we carry really affordable art but they make everything from hand the minute you order it it's not there in stock so they they produce that for you the minute you order it. it's really some cool pieces this is a cool piece for the foyer right back here if you can get in a little closer on that too honey that's from uttermost great canvas really think that's going to look great as you are leaving the family room and kind of going into the, the master bedroom. That's going to be in the hallway. Just some more books. And this is a great, this is the chair I'm going to try to cut down because they're actually bar stool height. We want it to be counter stool height. 
So this just gives you a little bit of feel of what the room's gonna look like. I still need to pull in one of my accent colors. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be yet. So I'm still working on that. I wanna pull in, all right now I've got a lot of neutrals and I wanna pull in a really great pop of color. I probably will bring that in and get an idea when I do my window treatments. When I start looking for that, I wanna do some working panels by those great slider doors. And when I see what I wanna go with, with that, that'll probably give me an idea of what accent color I wanna bring in. So flip back around to the board, honey. So this is the family room foyer I just went over with you. And as you can see, this is some of the lighting that's going to be complementing each other right in there. So foyer light, family room light, hallway lights. So they all have a little bit of element that, a little bit of element of surprise because it's, I think they're all different and whimsical, but they also all flow together really nice, whether it's the candlestick lighting, whether it's a little bit of the metal, whether it's the black rod coming down. They all flow very well and they transition from room to room very well. So that's room number one down. Let's head to the next one.